Today I'm going to show you how to download the all the mods 9 mod packs. It's the easiest, quickest way to download the mod packs. Try to do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is search for the Curse Launcher. Now this is the best way to download mod packs in Minecraft. So if you go onto here, you want to download it from this link. This is the actual one you want to use. Make sure you do that one. You can download Standalone or Overwolf. Overwolf lets you add more modifications for different uh, games like World of Warcraft, um, Terraria, Stardew Valley, etc, etc, etc. But you can just use Standalone. So click download the Standalone, get rid of the cookies, no one cares. Download that and then I'll join you in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I have a load of mod packs installed, but once you've downloaded it, you come onto here and you've got to make sure you add a game and add Minecraft. Now, it should automatically be on there, but if not, you just go to scan games, put in the location where your Minecraft is downloaded, or you can go manually add a game, and again, you select the Minecraft.exe file. Uh, it may also automatically find it should do, but um, if not, that's how you do it. As you can see, Stardew Valley is here because I have indeed got it. So all you do is go to browse. Uh, this will come up with mod packs. You search in the mod pack you want. So, for instance, this one, all the mods nine. Give that an enter, and you'll come up with that. Then you just click install uh, for the no frills version, or obviously install for normal all the mods nine. I've already got it, so it just clicks play. Of course, by that I meant shows play. Once you've got it on there and it's downloaded, you just want to click the play button. It will then do the installing forge, installing Minecraft launcher, and it will load up. Now, it can sometimes take some time, but what you'll eventually do is once it's downloaded Forge, it will come up the Minecraft launcher, it will be loading, you'll get this lovely image of an armadillo. By the time you are playing this or watching this, this may be different, but uh, let this load and then we'll move on. Okay, now shortly after it will load up and all you want to do from this point is click play, you'll get uh, a little notification that says this uh, mod pack installs or changes the base game, do you want to still continue, click yes, you can click the tick box that says don't show me this again, and then the mod pack will load, it will take some time and it will come up. What I'm going to show you now is the best settings for the all the mods mod pack, so if you scroll down on here you can get all the information, have a read of this, really great mod pack, there's loads of ticks, tips and tricks episodes or videos, I have loads of them as well. But basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a decent amount of RAM allocated to this mod pack. Now it used to show you here, it doesn't show you anymore. But basically what you want to do is go into here, go into your profile up here, profile options, and then you want to unlock, or you, you'll have this button here which will say use system memory settings. Now your memory settings will be default set to one gig or two gig. Tick that off and then change the uh, basically the uh, the allocation of megabytes, allocation of RAM to it. Now for all the mods uh, 9, you want to use at least realistically 6 gig. Uh, if you've got it available, at least 6 gig will make sure the game runs well. Um, they recommend 8 gigs um, and then any more is better, but I wouldn't do any more than 12 because it will make it run a bit weirdly. So I would just do 10 gigs. I've got it on 10752, so 10 gigs, 152 meg, and uh, that is literally it. And then you can uh, go and play it and that'll be the, the, the best RAM uh, for you. If not, it will lag and sometimes it won't even load up. You can also go on to, again, onto profile options. Um, you can go on to allow content management for this, this profile. So if you click on that and click done, this will then unlock the profile. So you can then go and add mods to it. So you can go on this mod thing um, and you can add mods to the mod pack. You can update all manually. You can add more content. Um, and by this you can just add whatever the hell mods you want. You can search and just do, I don't know, anything. Mouse Tweaks. Mouse Tweaks is a great mod. Add that onto there. That'll be really useful. And that is how you add mods to the All The Mods Mod Pack. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, hit the like button, subscribe. Stay tuned for more tutorials. I will bring, bring them out as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, check out my other videos. Um, of course, if you want to see me survive 100 days in a huge mod pack, TMP Limitless 7, if you don't know how to install it, I've got a video coming soon. Uh, it'll be at the end of this video. You can click it and watch it. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.